What's up guys, Casual FM here, and what you may see from the screen is, we did actually get the job, I can't believe it, we're a season and a half in, and we're somehow giving the reins our premiership team, I don't know what's gone wrong, but someone's been an idiot here. Okay then, so let's have a little look, <laughs> obviously... If you uh, have ever watched Luujo, I uh, kind of follow his like rules in the sense that I would have not have moved if it wasn't right. And I've gone from earning, what, 6 50 a week to 2.2k. I'm in the dreamland. So I took it. I'm still studying for the Continental. Nothing's really changed. I think I've got like a 5k sign on, not really sure, but I'm laughing until I realise what I've taken on. I've gone from Dumbarton, that were like playoff potential, to Kilmarnock, <laughs> four points above the playoffs <laughs> to be relegated. What have I done with the first game against Dundee? So I thought I'd bring you Dundee United just to see how it goes on. And then. There's Celtic away if we have time. Right, let's have a look. So at the tactics, this is the team that I've got. And on paper, it doesn't look half bad. Except I've got two mild injuries. One injury. One unregistered. Who's just on loan somewhere. I don't know why we're loaning out players. And a kind of fit, not really fit, needs some game time striker. Who's the top goal scorer at the moment for this club. What do I think is going wrong? I look at the defence. I mean, I don't think... We've got this on loan from Fulham, but I don't know why. He's going to be great in three, four years. And the same for Shane Flynn. He's, he's having to play way out of position. But they're injured. I just think they've got the wrong squad depth has gone on here. That's all. Oh, do we stay up is the question. Well, let's find out how we do in the first game. Obviously, I am playing the 4-4-2 because I literally took the job yesterday. And, oh, what do we do? Pump fist. There you go, guys. Let's give them some face because they must have lost a lot of motivation. Because I don't think they've won many games. Right. Yeah, it's a special day. Yeah, I'm just going to click. Right, we're still going to play positive. Oh, no, we're not now. Nah. I want to play balance because I'm not quite sure where they're going to be. Uh, I'm playing a 4-4-2 because I literally was set up ready for when I came in just because I haven't actually had time to work with the squad yet. I've literally come in one day. I haven't even looked at training. I haven't changed corners yet. I'm just going to go with it until and see what happens. I don't think we're going to beat Dundee. I don't think we're going to beat Southwick. I don't think we're going to beat many teams. So I'm just going to play around with what works and this one and the South again. We've already got one person's already just wanting to come off. You've only been on for 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm just going to play around just for a little bit just to see what happens. I'm going to keep encouraging them because I just feel they're like broken souls, aren't it? They're, they're going through a horrible divorce. Their manager's left. They're, and they were meant to come predicted like fourth in the season. And they're nowhere near. Um, do I think this is going to be a challenge and a half? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm not looking forward to it. We'll find out, won't we? But, um, yeah, I mean, it's big steps. Even as I couldn't get a job in the league football. So I'm very tempted to have to... Need to I need to have a look to see why I couldn't get a job at Salford or, you know, any other team in the football league in like England in um, in England sorry but Kilmarnock was straight out to give me a job I don't know if that's because I was so cheap but they did give me the job quite fast I can't know obviously we will keep an eye on uh, Tom Barton uh, normally I would have done like less amount of episode for the Tom Barton season because we were just flying high we weren't uh, we weren't okay they don't like that Okay, well, you know, that's just gonna, they weren't going to get like into the, the automatic promotion. But obviously now we've got a relegation battle and I want to show you more of the team 
when we're playing. But let's have a look at how we're doing. We're not doing too bad. Um, and I say that now and they're coming forward, which I think that might be Fuchs, says, who played for Southampton, I, I, I think. Don't know how he's made his way here, but not quite sure. But he took a shot against Rodgers. Obviously, Kyle Cornelli is the striker that we had at Dunbarn, who's from Kilmarnock. But I can't recall him, and I, I wish I could, but I've looked at his rating, and the Scouts don't rate him here anyway. So, I'm not sure. I'm going to praise them because they're doing great. Because uh, I'm not sure how useful he would be, but I just love a good target man, and I don't actually have one at the moment. What did I bring from Dunbarton, except for the bloody boring 4-4-2 that we've got at the moment? Uh, I bought Barry Smith, the assistant manager. Uh, why did I bring Barry Smith? As they take a 1-0 lead, Billy Bodden, what a name. Let's have a look at this goal. In the 69th minute, and Batty, of course, Batty passes it. He's got to have a big role. And Sharpland, there are some great names. And that is a beautiful, that's Ozil vision now. I can't say that. The keeper's poor, is the word there. What have we got on the bench? Oh, I just don't know if we've got anyone... Spending decency, we've got one striker on the bench. Bring you on to play the Tiger Man. Oh, I just don't know. We've not got much. Let's play like that, and then we'll go straight to attacking because there's there's nothing wrong with going attacking now because we've got to throw everything in. Am I going to moan at a one nil defeat to Dundee? No. But anyway. Back to, I bought Barry, I don't know why, just because I, I liked him, but the Don Barton, and after a season and a half, he never did anything, never said anything wrong. His instructions, opposition instructions, normally worked, and I've got to say, I had a lot of, oh, he's offside of it, I've got to give a lot of, like, respect to how he helps me get to this job. So I bought him along because I thought he needed a pay rise, and Don Barton also got a nice little compensation package for me and for him, so it's not too bad. Right, I'm going to make this change. I know he's not a defender, but he looks tired. And we've got Celtic in two days. And I'm very worried that Celtic are going to make me look silly. So Mackenzie to Sonny. We will obviously need to learn these names properly. But I don't know if a lot of these players are going to stay. First thing I did when I got to the club was sign Mackenzie down to another contract. Because he was running out of contract. And it said he needed one. As in, like, it suggested that he, oh, it's 2-0. Again, no, I don't... I'm going to encourage them because I just... Oh, let's have a look at it. And Oh, God, he's he's lurked right on the line there. He's, he's, that is a very good goal from... I would hope an advanced forward kind of role he's playing there. That is a very good goal and well taken. I can't... I'm going to encourage them because I just feel bad. And oh, my God, we've almost scored from a corner and I haven't even touched them. Maybe I should be <laughs> not touching the corner techniques anymore. Uh, we have four minutes of extra time. I'm not going to change anything. Everyone looks tired. I know I've messed up and should have made some more sort of shoots, but I got carried away talking about this because I'm so excited to be here. I am very worried, though, that we're going to go down as they come in. And Rogers has made a beautiful save. So Mackenzie picks up the ball. And, oh, God, why have I signed him again? <laughs> um, Maybe... We'll play the Celtic game anyway, because I'm not sure there's much that's going to change there, because we are away. And then I'll have to sit down and get some tactics put on here. Maybe some long throw-ins, because we saw how well they were doing at the lower leagues. Oh, that just feels rude to say. Oh, they played so well, but I noticed that, that football manager thing where if you say, don't worry about it, they then go and moan, and they're like, why shouldn't we worry about it? Oh, And now, now he's telling everyone I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm not annoyed. It's all okay. Right, let's get to the Celtic game. Am I going to make any changes? Probably not, because I just don't know what works. And don't change something. Well, I mean, I would say don't change something if it's not broken, but I don't know what's broken. I see, I haven't told you. Let's lift everyone's spirits at least try. There you go, look at that. I think I've just... Look at that, morale boost. 
that's how happy you. I'm not gonna talk that right now. Other than that, a season and a half, no coaching badges, no experience, and Kilmarnock have gone. Please, please save us. And I've gone. Yes, yes. To be fair though, I should be able. Okay, they're telling me to. You know what, Barry, go for it, Barry. Take it again. Show me that I'm wrong. We signed a physio. I, don't, I didn't do that. Here you go. So he signed a new contract. He's not a lot. He's on left to me. He just seems to be the best player at the club. So I'm just going to run with it. Because if he is, then he is, isn't he? No, I don't need your physio. I'm going to send an assistant. Because we're not here for that right now. Oh, he's got, to be he's got a two to three week. He's got a concussion. How has he got con- he pl- I can already, if you remember back to like those FM 2018s, 2017s, where it had like the challenges, and it's like injury crisis, and you have to use like the youth academy. I feel like that's what I've entered. I know there's not, oh yeah, see what I mean? Can't get the job at Bolton, but somehow Kilmarnock have given me the uh, the reins. Right, so we're going to regroup, I, I recommend, I like that. Put some oppositions on. Oh, I don't want to play very defensive. We are going to play fullback. Yeah, and we're going to stay exactly here. I'm going to move him out. And Greg, Greg, <laughs> Greg Kit- Titty. Hello, mate. You are wanted. Why are you wanted? Are you good? You are good, aren't you? Oh, okay. No, we're going to play this team for now because we're going to give it a go. And then we'll sort it out if it's not how I think it's going to go. It is Celtic. That's it, boys. I'd love to see up the football league we go, but we're already at the top. I think we're going down. So McGregor has picked the ball up for them. Who passes it to Dalbert? Is that the Man United player? And David Turnbull has just pulled my trousers down and made me look silly in one minute and 45 seconds. Now, I feel like he must be a defender, but he just finished that like an absolute striker, so I've got to commend that. I don't know if I want to, I don't want to see it again. I'm upset. We are going to fire them up because that is just dangerous. The ball goes in, and I feel like this could be a whitewash. Fourth picks up the ball and passes it to Kilman, who puts in a very nice cross, but it is dealt with well. Luderstrand picks Luderstrand even, and Turnbull again. He must be a deep lie like midfielder or the uh, or a ball winning midfielder because he plays quite low. But look at him push. They're playing really well here, but Rogers does collect the ball. We're ten minutes in and we are looking out of place. But McCarron just makes barks work for it. That must have been going near. They've got Dembele. No way. If that is Musa Dembele, as in the one, or if that's the one that they had before, then I don't know how they've managed to do that again. But Hill here for us is pushing, and he looks, he beats the player, looks to get it into the middle, and someone take it, and he goes to what looks to be like a finesse to the corner, but it's absolutely awful. And they look to almost make us punished for it. Let's just, I quickly just want to see if that is what I think it is. It can't be. Ah, it's not. It looks to be what, probably his younger brother or something. He looks better. He looks better. Much better than him. Oh, man. I can't believe they have that. So they're pushing forward with the defence again. And Sergeant McGregor, but Rogers gets a beautiful save to push out for a corner to Celtic. Dembele picks up the ball and looks to drive, but... Our striker has just clattered in one there. We are going to do that because Rowan Christie is getting too much space and he is going to make me pay for it in a minute if I don't put an end to it. I've just noticed that Liverpool are one game behind us, but they're on 20 points and we could fall into this play- playoff if we're not careful. The problem is, is that we can't catch up to go ninth. We are stuck in 10th or 11th. Then that's the question of, have I got a... Oh my God, it's 1-1. Alex Samuels 
has scored an equaliser. Number 14 with his 11th goal. Hill has assisted perfectly there. Let's have a look at that. So, Solly, he kind of just takes it around. And he passes it down the line to Hill, who has a great red hair. And Samuel just puts his toe onto it on a half volley kind of style into the corner and leaves the keeper standing. But if we look, we're now on 22 points and they're on 18, so we've just been saved a bit. But they still have a game in hand against us, so I am very worried because I've just noticed we can't catch nine at all. We've been dispossessed and Sargent is absolutely making a mockery on that right wing. He manages to get a ball into Dembele, who has ah, taken a long shot. And made me suffer. Let's have a look at this here. It's a beautiful run. He's taken my defender in. He's then opened up the space. And Dembele, why is no one closing in? He's just opened it to the corner. I'm going to fire them up because they are playing well. And I can't, I can't follow it. Oh, if he could just got, got onto that there. We just need them to get onto these balls. They're not getting onto them. And Dembele again. He's gonna, is he going to make me pay for it again? No, Rogers finally gets a touch onto it. I know we are playing against such a good team. Like they've got 31 points more than us. But I don't want to tell them I'm, I am pleased. They're playing well, but I'm going to risk it. We're away. I don't think we're going to get the points from playing positive. We're going to go attacking. I know it's weird, but I need to push for it. And they're about to go 3-1 oh, up. Gonna demand more because I know I, I know I put it onto attack and I know it seems silly and I open it up, but we're already losing and we've only got a three point difference to the team below us. So I'm worried. Then Bele's picked up the ball, he has been an absolute menace, and Montiel has now got it. Lustrum looks for a great through ball that would have been, but is luckily blocked. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Let's make some subs quickly. Let's see if we can you're a bit tired. <laughs> bring on Gary. Let's get bring on just because oh, do you want to play that one? Which one are you actually good at? Let's play that, because they both seem to be able to play that. We've got obviously no strikers on the bench. I am starting to think that maybe we should swap the formation around. I will try to see what I think works. Uh, I might also get some friendlies arranged. Just to, you know, pump up the uh, motivation again because I just don't know if they're just a bit sad let's keep firing them up I know it's going to confuse them I know they're going to be annoyed I know it's silly but we're losing 3-1 there's nothing much more I could do but oh, why why Solly puts in the cross to absolutely no one ran onto that there was clearly a miscommunication that's it. We wait for the next highlight. Okay. No, because he's a defender. Why would I bring on a defender? McGregor's got the ball for Celtic. The Ludstrom, who passes it to Dalba. It's beautiful. Dalba, sorry. A beautiful cross out there. Who doesn't make a lot of it, but wins a corner that goes in and almost makes me pay. Dembele, who has been an absolute genius on the wings today. He's doing so well. And we have a target man with nobody else up there, even though we're on attacking. Dembele's pushing at us again and takes the shot, but does not have the same connection as the first one earlier. Rogers takes it and he gets it to Brown and we look for Brophy, but he literally can't get anywhere. And Dembele again looks to punish us out for a corner. Dembele, that's all I'm saying. Dembele, Dembele, great player for them, isn't he? But Kitty gets a hold of him. 83rd minute. I am worried for us. I don't know if we can stay up. This reminds me of Dumbarton in the first season where everybody else was on more points and we had no place to go other than down. Surridge, who sounds like a BTEC Sturridge, gets the ball to Dembele, who gets a shot. But again, Rogers blocks it and then it's blocked by the midfield. Rogers is having a good game. He's made a lot of decent saves. He just hasn't saved the ones that needed to be kept out. We've got four minutes of extra time. I don't think we're going to see anything. I am wrong, but it is on our favour. And that is a somewhat half gestured across that doesn't actually get anything on. I can't fault their efforts. They played well. 
Right guys, that has been your casual FM and I am going to leave it there for today. Um, am I worried? Yes. But I have already started to uh, build for this season and I have got Dominic time to join. Will I be in the championship or will I be building for the premiership? Leave your suggestion in the comments, but oh boy, oh boy, what have I done? Right, thanks, guys.